All right, guys. This one goes out to the ladies. But fellas, listen closely. Could be making a dish, a traditional French dish called crepes. And you're like, oh, okay, that's pretty faggy, man. Well, do you like pancakes? Every red-blooded American likes pancakes. Uh, and this is better than pancakes. So go ahead and learn it. And if you're a single guy, this could come in handy getting second dates, if you know what I mean. Cook this for a woman. Trust me, she'll be impressed. If she's a cool woman. All right, so very simple ingredients. We'll go ahead and start out with a cup of flour. Now give or take a little bit. Two eggs. Mm, I may or may not have gotten a shell in there. Yes, I did. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> one half cup of milk. One half cup of water. Two tablespoons of butter. Melted. And let's see here. Quarter teaspoon of salt. And I like to add this um, if you're making the crepes for dessert. It's a orange blossom extract. My mom always put it in it when I was little, and it's freaking delicious. But, okay, so after you have all those, you know what? Before I mix all that, I'm gonna turn the oven on, or the stove on. You want your pan to be, I put mine on seven, but you want your pan to be pretty freaking hot uh, for this particular dish. Just FYI, if you don't have uh, eggs, you can also use beer in the place of the eggs. It kind of contributes to the fluffiness. And then you can also substitute vegetable oil for the butter. But I think it's better with the eggs and the butter, personally. The beer is good, too. But All right, so we're going to let this pan heat up a little bit. Tonight, we're going to be putting this omelet, or basically these... these um, eggs that we made. We're going to put them in our crepes for uh, for dinner and then we'll make a couple dessert ones. And with the dessert ones, I like to put a little bit of butter and a little bit of powdered sugar, or I like granulated sugar. My wife likes the powdered sugar. But that's really, all you need is a little bit of butter, a little bit of sugar for dessert. And it's freaking delish. This pan's getting there. Um, you can add, you want it to be, that looks pretty good right there, that's pretty runny. You want it to be probably the consistency of, I'd say, eggnog. It has to be runny, and you'll see why when I put them in the pan. We'll let it heat up for a little bit more. Sorry I'm not doing a knife video, y'all. Every once in a while, my French side comes out, and I must make something delicious. <laughs> hmm. All right, I put some Pam. Well, this is just great value non-stick olive oil spray but uh, you can see it's starting to smoke off the pan so it's probably hot enough to do one so we'll try one this is why you need to be runny you're gonna rotate the pan and kind of rotate the uh, device here you can use a ladle to, to, to pour it as well but I just one of these little measuring balls makes it easy all right so you'll let it sit there and cook for a little bit. And you want to kind of work around the sides. This is a special crepe pan and special crepe uh, spatula here, but you can use anything, uh, just a regular pan and spatula. But I kind of work around the sides just to make sure that it can unstick when the time comes. The, be a be the best crepe, a little crispy around the sides, fluffy and soft in the middle. You don't want to overcook it here. This is kind of, a, it's kind of something you, I don't really, I can't give you a time for how long it should be in the pan there, but um, 
You just kind of got to play it by ear. It comes with experience. I'll probably flip that one a little bit premature, but that's okay because we'll, we'll turn it back over and redo the other side. Me and my wife had these uh, when we, on our honeymoon. We were in Paris and uh, went to a little crepe stand. Got the crepe. They put uh, Nutella on it, got a fresh Coca-Cola, and we walked around the corner and bam, there was the Eiffel Tower. It was freaking awesome. All right, I think we can flip this now. Do the other side a little bit more. You want a little bit of crispiness to it. Let's get played out. Sorry, babe. Do you think I can pull off a flip? I don't know. Uh, that's pretty risky to do on tape. Let's try this. Ooh, oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alrighty, watch out, babe. That's one crate. Ready to go. Uh, well, I'll show you a dessert one real quick, just so y'all can see how delicious this is. How much butter? Oh, whoa! Good thing we have clean uh, uh countertops. How much butter is too much butter? There's no such thing as too much butter. Well, this is probably a little too much butter, but hey, butter is delicious. Oh, that was a lot of butter, wasn't it? Oh well. Pay the price. And some sugar on there. Mmm. Then you just fold it up. Ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. You should try it out. I'm telling you. Very cheap, simple ingredients and an excellent um, result. Thank you for watching.